Welcome to Ground Control. I have tiled plans now available for the GFS F22 Micro V2. This is revision one on the plans. Uh, they give you some information on the part jet. It's, it's completely made from Adams Ready Board. It has a wingspan of 15 inches, which is 381 millimeters. The LiPo that I like to fly with it is a GNB 3S 550 milliamp hour ADC LiPo. It has an all up weight of 149 grams. It has a thrust to weight ratio of 1.8 to 1. So it does have unlimited vertical until your battery falls off. I have 247 flights on this airframe now and I'm hoping to get a little over 300 on it before I retire the airframe and build a new one. Um, it's starting to show a little bit of wear. I have dropped it onto a cactus and pulled cactus needles out of it. I have slid it into scrub along the road where I take off and land. And when I was out uh, going to the field to produce a couple of demo flights for this video, I pulled it out of the truck and I noticed that the vertical stabilizer was flopping around. So um, the, the tab and slot glue had let go and so the front of the vertical stabilizer was no longer glued into the wing plate. So what do you do, right? Um, I took four little strips of packing tape and secured it as best I could and went ahead and threw it in the air and performed a couple of demo flights with it. So uh, there was some wind out there during these two demo flights. Uh, it probably would be a little more stable in the air if I had a secured vertical stabilizer on it, uh, one that was secured with glue rather than tape. But I, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the two uh, demo flights. Uh, let me see, links to all the components for this for this part jet are in the show notes. Um, the oh, well, I'll tell you more about the the tiled plans when we uh, after I show you guys the demo flights. But uh, I have flown this part jet with everything from a 450 milliamp 3s lipo to a 950 milliamp 3s lipo, and it carries all of them just fine. Of course, the heavier the lipo. Um, the lower the thrust to weight ratio and I like the feel of the plane with the 550 milliamp hour lipo in it and I think those lipos weigh around 53 grams and I have several of them and they perform very very well so anyway um, it has this airframe has a total of 11 parts to build the airframe not counting the little square of uh, of uh, hobby grade plywood that I use for the motor mount but uh, all the foam parts there's only 11 foam parts to build this entire airframe so this is probably one of the simplest builds you will come across and uh, yeah I think that's it I'll talk about the tile plans when we get back anyway here are the two demo flights and I'll see you in a bit okay I've got the GFS F22 mini or excuse me micro version 2 Version 2, we got wind on the ground of about 3 to 5, gusting to, I don't know, 7 or 8. Um, it's a really lightweight park jet, but let's, and I'm a little rusty with it, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, got a little bit of wind up there, huh? Downwind. Upwind. That's kind of slow. Vertical climb. That's not bad. Hehehehe <laughs> 
Oh, this thing is so much fun. I don't stall it. Isn't that cool? Definitely have some land up there. <laughs> you, can, you can see it drift just from the wind. Turn it back into the wind. Try not to stall it. I know that there are some folks building this park jet right now. I hope they have as much fun with it as I do. I love this little park jet. That has a wide flight envelope, doesn't it? It can move pretty fast when you want it to. It can move pretty slow when you want it to. a little bit lower than I intended. Told you I was rusty with it. Trying to keep it on this side of me so I'm not crossing the sun. Trying to keep it in a little bit closer so you guys could see it. And there's my timer. So let's bring it in. See if we can bring it in slowly into the wind here. Three to four mile an hour, I think. That's pretty slow. Okay, that's a GFS F22 Micro V2. And I really have a blast with that. I think it's just about time for me to rebuild this one. I think I've got somewhere between 200, 250 flights on it, and I'm never easy on it. So, might be time for a rebuild. Let's put another battery in it. See you in a minute. Okay. Let's get our GFS F-22 Micro V2 back in the air before the wind picks up too much. Launching. Now, with the power system that I have on it and, and the prop, I'm launching it at 50% throttle. I find that's a pretty good setting for getting it in the air quickly with minimal torque roll. And the LiPo that I'm flying in it is a GNB 3S 550 milliamp, and I think it's 
ADC. But uh, this is manual mode only. There's no gyro in it. And it's a pretty stable, pretty well-behaved little park jet. Now watch, as soon as I say that, I'll probably stall it. And you can see the vertical climb with the current power system, pretty good. Has very light wing loading, which I like because that gives it a very wide flight envelope. And I'm a little rusty with this one. I haven't flown it in a long time. This is my first flight session with this park jet in quite a while. I'm just not as smooth on the controls as I normally am. See? That was kind of abrupt. Pretty well behaved, though. Ah, uh, keep it out of the sun. Getting a little lag back and forth from the wind. Yep, see? It, I think it's only about 140, 145 grams with the Slipo in it. And after just playing around with it after the last flight, I still had 3.85 volts per cell. <laughs> Isn't that fun though? I have a blast with it. Oh, there's my timer. All right, let's bring it in. There we go. If I had a little more wind, I think I could do a vertical landing with it. But what fun, huh? <laughs> Very, very maneuverable, very wide flight envelope. Just a blast. See you back at the HQ. Okay, so it didn't handle too poorly, um, even with a vertical stabilizer that was moving around on it in that wind. And uh, it has a very wide flight envelope. 
with a little bit of high alpha you can really bring this thing in very very slowly and if you hammer the throttle it, it's a pretty quick little micro part jack. So on the tile plans, I formatted these tile plans. I wanted to make one set of tile plans in addition to the full sheet plans that are in there. You'll also have a setup file on my latest setup for this part jet for, for the um, control service deflection and the amount of expo that I have in it. Uh, the only thing that I would say is I think the aileron is good for your maiden flight. I like quite a bit of elevator just in case uh, I get too close to the ground pulling out of a loop or a split S maneuver. So for your maiden flight you might want to tone the elevator dual rate down just a little bit and maybe increase the expo just a little bit for your maiden flight and then go from there. But the tile plans are formatted so that they, will, they should print just fine on letter or A4 paper, either one. And they all come with little dashed orange crop marks right up in the corner. And those crop marks are there for you to be able to align the portion of the tile that you need to cut out of the letter or A4. Now these, these are at the extent of the tile, so you want to actually cut them out on the outside edge of those orange crop marks. And then when you, when you put the sheets together, the corners of four sheets will create a little orange cross and that should also help you align your sheets when you're putting, putting them together. So I just want to make you aware of that, that you need, to, you need to trim on the outside of the crop marks, not in the center of the crop marks. Otherwise your, your pages won't fit together quite right. Might be a millimeter off, half a millimeter off. But, uh, but anyway, there you are. Uh, there's a link in the show notes to a zip file containing the full sheet plans, the tiled plans, and all the associated documents with information and links to all the components that I use in this park jet. And my, oh, and my, uh, my build costs on this, my plug and fly costs to build this park jet at the time that I bought all the components was $36.00 and 65 cents. Just like a plug and fly factory plane, it included everything except for the receiver and the lipo. That's what it cost me to build this park jet. And I think it performs pretty well for $36 and 65 cents. So um, download the plans, build it, fly it, crash it, repair it, rinse and repeat. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.